Beautiful autumn morning here at Hanamino. Uh, believe it or not, uh, it's also 24 hours after these uh, shorthorn wieners were weaned. These uh, wieners being young cattle, they were born in about September, August, September last year, that's 2013. And we took these little guys off their mothers yesterday, so less than 24 hours ago. Well, they are freshly weaned wieners. You can see how stressed they are. They've just walked out, put their heads down, gone grazing. They've had nose rings in for a week and um, they're not even looking for their mothers. We might get one or two that go back, but that should all be good with just, just like that. Then we'll train them, move them and stop them and move them and stop them with, onto dogs and teach them to come to people properly and then they'll be settled for the next sweet meat session. Um, their mothers are now about a kilometre away. Uh, now these are very quiet cattle. Um, normally when uh, weaners are taken off their, their mothers for the first time, they're flighty, they're stressed, all they want to do is get back to mum. But these guys, given the way we, we do a gradual weaning, even though it's over four or five days, uh, which is you know, quite a, uh, a short period of time, uh, it's enough time for these guys to break that bond and do it gently so they can move on to become their own mob, graze very happily, put on weight. Certainly mum's not too far away, but they don't seem to be worrying too much about their mothers at the moment, which is fantastic because if, if an animal's stressed, and, and weaning can be a very stressful process, they can actually lose weight, and they generally do lose weight during that weaning process because they spend a lot of time running around, not eating, fretting about where their mum is. So it's critical, if you can retain weight gain while animals are being weaned, then, you know, instead of losing 15 kilos in that process over a couple of weeks, they can put on that 15 kilos, which uh, at the end of the day is a 30 kilo um, benefit uh, when these animals are, uh, are ready to be sold. So I'll quickly show you what sort of feed these guys are on, uh, these freshly weaned uh, young calves. You can see this beautiful lush green feed. There's Phalaris, Coxfoot, a little bit of uh, Patterson's Curse down here, which is fine. We don't spray that sort of stuff. We don't spray anything. Uh, it's a broadleaf weed, and it provides um, copper and a number of other nutrients that uh, these cattle need. Certainly some clover down there. Let's see if I can find any four leaf. I'll probably be here all day. But um, nonetheless, uh, there's a three. There you go. Uh, it's beautiful feed. It's a good diverse mix of, uh, of feed in here. Some native species probably uh, interspersed um, and certainly some broadleaf. I think there might be a wild geranium in here. I saw it before. But certainly great feed for these guys. That's what they need considering they've, comes off, they've just come off their mums. And um, if I was a wiener and I just said goodbye to mummy, I'd be pretty happy to be in here too, I think. So these are graze away happily here at Hanamino. Uh, until um, probably about December, November, December, we'll start picking some of these out and putting them through to uh, our retailers and so on through our Charlie Arnott Natural Grass-Fed Beef. Isn't that a wonderful sound? <laughs>